Hey, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and today I want to show you a plugin for Sketch called Patty. Now, Patty is a plugin to set automatic padding and spacing for your elements, and so it's a very nice way to start to create these elements and have things flex or fit in the body of these elements. So I'm going to show you what that means by designing a chat interface here. If you want to follow along with me, you can get this Patty plugin. I have a link in the description below, so you can get it there, or you can follow this link right here. And just go ahead and download that and install this into Sketch. Now that we're in Sketch, we're going to design a chat bubble. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle here. And I can set the corner radius to 20 pixels for this chat bubble. And now I want to create a triangle. So I'm just going to go into my shapes tool. I'm going to create another square here and copy and paste and just rotate this. I'm going to cut this square from this other square to have a nice uh, size triangle here. So it doesn't really matter what size right now. I'm just going to subtract this front layer from this back one. And then I will flatten this selection. And I want to rotate it something like this. and. I can just get started by sizing this just however I want, um, however I think it will look good. So something like that will work. And now we have two layers. I'm going to call this background and I'm going to call this triangle. And now I'm going to add some text here. So I'm just going to type this is my text and that can go ahead and be black I think. And we've started off with this text bubble and it doesn't matter what size these elements are yet because check this out. If I click on this background layer and I go to my plugins and patty, I can choose the padding for this selection and I can decide that I want the top and bottom padding to be 10 and then the left and right padding to be 20. And if I click OK, then you can see if I click here, there's 10 pixels here and 20 pixels here. And it did something a little bit unpredictable. You see this triangle? It still has 20 pixels here and 10 pixels here for the triangle. But we don't want this triangle to be included in the padding. So the way we fix that is we can double click inside of this layer and hit this subtract right in front of it. So if you have a minus in front of any layer, it's going to ignore that in the padding. So I'm going to click away and you can see that this padding is set just around this text now which looks really good. So now I can bring this back over here, something like that, and that looks good. Now the magic of Patty is I can click inside of here and type hi, my name is Caleb. Then I can click away and this triangle stays in the left. So now we have this dynamic chat bubble. I'm just going to change the radius to 10 pixels just to make it a little bit cleaner. And we want to create a symbol now. And I want to show you how powerful it is to use this within symbols. So I'm just going to change this to uh, text. And that's going to resize how we thought it would. And I'm going to select everything in here. We have three layers, text, triangle, background and I'm going to create symbol and this symbol is going to be incoming and now if I double click inside of this symbol hold down option and drag down I'm going to name this layer outgoing and I'm going to change just a few things here now so I'm going to flip this and move it over to the right and this text I'm going to have this be right justified and I actually want this text to be pinned to the left and the right here and I want this text to be pinned to the left and the right and this triangle to be pinned to the left bottom. So this is the bottom right. I think we have everything set up here and now I just want to change the color of this outgoing text and change this color to be white. So now if we jump back in our page, we have incoming text here. I'm going to hold down option and change the symbol to outgoing and let's just have a conversation now. So I can bring this over here and let's just type in a few things. And you can see when I did that, something blew up here. 
And the cool thing is I can double click inside of here and just see what's going on. See if I have this left and right. I actually didn't choose fix width and fix height. So now that I do that, I can jump back in here and we can see that that's fixed. I want to do the same thing with this one. So fix width, fix height, and then that won't happen when I uh, add text here. So now, we can do that. And I have a little bit of misspelling here. And then hold down option. And we can continue on the conversation here. So what is your favorite color? And I can go over here and change this. My favorite color used to be blue. And if you hold down option return, then that will enter a return in the text. But I really like black now. So as soon as I hit return, then this text changes and I can click away and everything fits within this. So it's a really nice way to have your padding just fit inside of this text. And now a really cool thing here that you can do besides this padding is if I select all of this text here and I just group it, then I can go back into my plugins, go to Patty, and now I can choose to have a spacing for the selection. And I want this spacing to be 20 pixels vertically. So if I click OK here, we can see that that all changed to 20 pixels. And I can always change this whenever I want. I can go into here and say, I actually want this to be 100 pixels spacing. So now when I click away, everything is spaced at 100. So just a very quick way to change that. Now if you follow the link in the description below to download the plugin, there's also instructions for more detailed things that you can do with this plugin. So that's the new Patty plugin by D. Williams, and I hope this will save you tons of time in your design making it dynamic. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe and hit that bell button below, and it'll notify you of future tutorials and tips that I have.